before your people, O oh God. As I stand behind this sacred desk, O oh God, let me decrease that you may increase, O oh Father. Father, let the words be spoken, O oh God, that will change the character and behavior of your people, O oh God. Let it sink into their hearts, O oh God. Let them not, O oh God, look at the person that give it, but listen to the words that are about to be said unto them, O oh God. That it will do the changing. Let the word do the work in the name of Jesus, Father. We thank you what you've done thus far in this service, God. But right now, Father, as we listen, O oh God, O oh God, you said, how should they do unless it's preached, Father? And let it be preached the word that will settle in their spirits, O oh God. That, oh God, that they will adhere to, that they will apply to their everyday lives, oh God. But it's this man servant of yours, oh God, standing behind his desk, Father. I ask for your endowing right now in the name of Jesus. Speak through me, oh God, that it may reach your people. It's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Somebody say amen. 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 Somebody amen. else say glory. 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 Oh, somebody glory. like that. Glory. Thank glory. You, glory. Hallelujah. Uh, come on, say restore me, Lord. Restore me, Lord. Restore me, Lord. Restore me, Lord. Restore me back to your original <coughs> condition, but it also means that it's improved. Yeah. Yes. That's why it says restore. Yes. It means that you've already been there, but you need to be restored again. We've been through some dry times, some high times, some times when time, just when things just wasn't going right. Mm -hmm. And all of us need God to re restore us. How many of you know that God is restored of lost time, though? Amen. Amen. Oh, Amen. I got one hand raised. Oh, somebody know how to do that. He's a restorer of time, of yes, years, Lord. as we read yes. today, as he yes. said. I'll restore it to you, the years that you have lost. Hallelujah. Amen. If you don't believe that, let me prove it to you one more time. Somebody get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Eight for me. And read verses one through eight for me. Because I want to prove to you that God is a restorer even of the years that you have lost. Isaiah 8, <clears throat> 38. 38, 38, verse 1. But God is a restorer even of the years that you've lost. Some of us have fooled around all our lives. Maybe it's just me. We've played with God all this time. We want to go to church and act like we're in church and act like everybody else. Get our little dance just like... I guess y'all ain't done that. Okay, I guess I'm the only one. Well, Lord, help me because I need to be restored. Because I have, I have went through those days. And I finally come with confidence to know what God is doing in my life. Come on, let's prove it to him. Isaiah 38. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. All right. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, mm -hmm. came unto him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Set your house in order. You shall mm -hmm. die and not live. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord. What did he do? He turned his face to the wall and he did what? Pray. See, we need more prayer today more than ever. Hallelujah. Amen. More Amen. prayer than ever. Come on. In the nation that we live in today, hallelujah, yes. with all that's Amen. going on. Come on now. We need to pray for the government. Come on, friend. Yes. Amen. And it said, Remember now, O Lord, mm -hmm. I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart. And have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. He go Hezekiah prayer. He want to tell him about all the things he's done already. Come on, like most of us. Come on. Like, the Lord, you know I did all these. You know how many people I saved. All right. <laughs> how many you saved? None. 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 Zero. Scratch. <laughs> Come on, Ricky. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord, the God of David, thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days fifteen years. Do what? Add unto him how many? Fifteen years. Tell me you're not a restorer of lost time. God said, I will restore unto you fifteen years. All because he turned his face to the wall and he prayed and he told about how the things he had done for the Lord. But see, some of them ain't got enough wherewithal. Mm. Our list is pretty short. Sure. Mm -hmm. But when he did what God had told him today, and he prayed, God gave him what, 15 years? Come on, read the rest of it for me real quick. And I will deliver thee and this city out of the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city. Mm -hmm. And this shall be a sign unto thee from the Lord, that the Lord will do this thing that he has spoken. Mm -hmm. Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the degree which is gone down in the son thou of Ahaz, mm -hmm. ten degrees backward, so the sun returned 10 degrees, by which degrees it was gone down. Mm -hmm. What went back? He turned the time back. Oh, yes. Yes. 
You think you had something with daylight saving time? When God turns it back 10 degrees right. for a man called Hezekiah. Uh -huh. And then as unto him 15 years, tell me God won't restore you back to where you should be to get you on the right track, to get you on the right path to your destiny. Yes, yes, How many of you got the confidence to know that God can do that? Amen. Don't let your confidence be shaken, hallelujah, by what you see going on in the world. God is still in control. Yes, he is. Amen. He hears your cry, hallelujah. But don't let your expectancy of your prayer be greater than what God has had for you. Amen. Which means that God works through the simplicity of things. Yes. Amen. When you want something great done in your life, don't get mad with God because he didn't do it the way you wanted it done. Amen. God doesn't work as a, mag a magical person, Amen. magician. Okay. Amen. He doesn't make things happen just that he can. Who said he couldn't? But sometimes our expectancy is what we want to see God do right now. We want to see God do it right now, and we want it just the way we want it done. Yes. Amen. God, save my son. Save my daughter. We want it done right now. He's still bad, God. He's still running around, God. I need you to save him right now. And God could be working on him all the time because he's putting somebody on his path that's encouraging him along the way. But you want it done your way. Hallelujah. Amen. God does not do it your way. You can get that Burger King mentality out of the way. It's not going to be done your way. But allow God and his word to work within you because he is a restorer. He's a restorer even of life and health. He's a restorer of health. It's in his word. He can restore your help because guess what? He sent his son to die for you and I. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. He said, by my stripes, we are healed. Amen. Amen. Can I tell you one thing to get out of your dialogue? Mm -hmm. I am sick. Amen. Quit speaking things over your life Amen. that are not there, that God wouldn't have you to do. It holds up. Yes, Lord. Yes, it does. It slows down the progress of you getting to your destiny. Because of the things that you speak. That's right, amen. I'm broke. Amen. I'm sick. Amen. How can God restore when you keep speaking against it? Amen. Restoring could be right around the corner, but we speak against it. Amen. I'm broke, God. Amen. I ain't got a dime. Amen. I can't even rub two nickels together. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yes. God. Hallelujah. Come on, we can say some things. Come on, we need to watch what we say. Hallelujah. Yes, Start speaking to yourself. That's right. Amen. The wealth of the rich of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Say, right. 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 so when is mine coming, Lord? Yes. Start speaking into existence, Lord. Thank you for what you've given me, God. Yes. Yes. Sometimes we hold up because we don't even recognize that God is restoring us. God has been restoring us since the beginning. Since Genesis, hallelujah, That's when they right, first baby. broke out, hallelujah, when they first disobeyed God, God has been trying to be restore the relationship back ever since then. Mm -hmm. You don't believe me? Yes, Want me to prove that one too? Ever since the beginning, God has tried to restore a relationship with him, first of all, so that you can relate to other people. That's right, the reason our relationships are breaking down because we don't first have a relationship with him. Mm. Well, He's trying to restore the relationship, and you're trying to make more relationships mm. without him. Wow. Come on now. Wow. He is a restorer. Yes. Amen. How many of you believe he restored some years back into you? Amen. Amen. Ooh, yes. All the times you've been through yes. all this, yes. you Amen. lost everything, your credit went bad, and yes. everything looked like it's going against you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. People walked out on you. Friends don't want to be with a friend no more. You got saved and everybody left. Mm. Mm. All my friends quit talking to me. I don't know about y'all. They wasn't friends. Yeah, here come that Glory reverend. Here come that preacher man. Here come that preacher man. No. Don't get around him. Man. They even label me as preacher man. Praise the Lord. I say, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. That's right. That's good. Even the C sales said he's going to be a preacher. Mm. Uh oh, oh. Uh, that's another story. Okay. Let us go on to the word. Come on, read, read them. That's not R-I-T-A. It's R-E-A-D. <laughs> Joel 
Two. Come on, go with us to Joel. Chapter 2, beginning at the 21st verse. Mm -hmm. The word of God says, Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. He will do what? Great, great things. things. The Lord will do great things. Come on, I got to back up just a little bit. Let me read a bit more for you, because I want you to understand where we're coming from today, because we love to read this, this uh, especially that verse that tells us that he's going to restore all these things unto us. But you got to understand where the people were at this time. Verse 18, just going back up, and I'll read this for you, reader. Mm -hmm. Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Mm -hmm. Yea, the Lord will answer and say unto his be people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith. And I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. But I will remove far away from you the northern army, and I will drive him into a land of barren and desolate, with his face toward the east sea and his hinder part toward the utter, utmost sea, and his stink shall come up, and his ill savior shall come up, because he has done great things. Mm -hmm. Fear not, O lad, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great. great.